Educators are putting on the pressure during day four of the teacher walkout. Thousands of schools across the state are still closed as teachers rally for more school funding. This is something lawmakers are working to resolve right now. Not all districts are closed today. Teachers in the Vail Unified School District welcome, welcomed their students back to class this morning. But as News 4 Tucson's Aliyah Shahid tells us tonight, the decision to reopen is drawing mixed reactions. Vail Superintendent Calvin Baker defending his decision to reopen schools as teacher walkouts continue statewide. We are opening schools in Vail because we sincerely believe it is the best thing for our community. Parents and educators have been sounding off on the district's Facebook page, some agreeing with the move, saying they don't want to see the school year delayed, but others disappointed with the decision, saying it shows a lack of support for the teachers' demands. Well, school teachers and educators, they haven't been getting the proper support from the administration. Superintendent Baker, who was appointed by Governor Ducey to the State Education Board in 2016, says he fully supports Red for Ed, but needed to get things back on track. We had students who needed to get their senior exit project done, who had to take AP tests. We had classified staff who needed to work so they'd have a paycheck so they could buy groceries. Officials say about 80% of Vail educators came back on Tuesday, the other 20% choosing to stay out as teachers continue to walk out. The Vail teachers had to make a really hard choice today and I respect each and every one of them for the decisions that they did make um, and I support them regardless of what that choice was. In Vail, Aliyah Shaheed, News for Tucson.